So today we're at Humpty Hump. For you guys that don't know, I've, I've dropped 14 sessions on it so far, so this will be my 15th session. And let me just quickly run you guys through the boulder problem. It won't take long because all it is is you start here, right hand, left hand, and then left hand to the top, and then you're done. It's a three move boulder basically. And so far, I've yet to do the last move. Uh, so yeah. So here's a close up of the start hold. So you start with this left hand Gaston and right hand on this slopey crimp. Now the thing about the left hand Gaston is uh, it's just a crack and I, I kind of have like big fat fingers so I can't really like push all of them in but it's like it's a pretty good start position. And then the worst hold of the entire route is it would be this right hand slopey crimp. And as you can see it's actually really shallow and there's not like much of a end cut or indent and you're taking it with your right hand like so and it just feels like you're not it feels this is a horrible hold a bit friction dependent again you hold it it's not much positive it's really slopey and even from this angle you're like what are you going to and then from this angle you're like still what are you going to again there's not much going on here so after you get this horrible right hand slopey crimp you gotta take your left hand and hit right over here now right over here is just a big mystery as to what you can grab and hold on to Directly speaking, you could just slap it like this and just compress. But I was here the other day with a friend of mine and he discovered good beta. If you take your left hand and you bump it right here to where your middle finger hits to this little shallow pocket, you, you get some pretty good register. For up close perspective, your left hand is going to be right here. Your middle finger is going to be inside this super shallow a uh, tiny end cut it's kind of like it catches the middle finger pretty well but it's not much of anything but like it works for what it is and then you're gonna be like that and then you're just gonna compress going right like that now the final move which i haven't gotten yet and it's the total crux of the boulder problem is you're gonna have two hands here you need to have your left foot high right here and then you need to hayak to that hold and that hold right there like it's it's a pretty good sloper jog, but if you go and your feet cut or your hands aren't correct, you just, you have no chance of holding it. Hardest move I ever attempted. So that's basically the problem. Uh, again, this is my 15th session. Uh, it rained a little bit or drizzled a little bit just now. So, but weather-wise it's pretty good. Um, I'm honestly not expecting to do it today, but if I could get the last move, I'd be pretty stoked. Um, let's start. Uh, yep, it is still hard as shit. Let me give this a second go. Oh. I will say though, the crimp on the left hand is feeling really good. And the thing about the first move is you really have to drive your hips into the wall. Oh. Okay, and uh, truth be told, I am still warming up. Just because when I go do outdoor boulders, I, I don't like to really climb easier stuff. I just like to hop on my project right away. And the freaking rain is making my shoes super wet. But for the start sequence of this, the foot are really important. I got to put my right foot right here and the left foot. I start with a toe hook, which is really good. and just really helps carry my body into the wall a lot better. Oh. <sighs> but let me just show you guys the crux of the problem. The thing is, you gotta have your left foot really high here. Oh. Oh. And even though you guys saw my hand get like super high up there, it's not, it's not like a throw as hard as you can. It's like a hit it just right because it's a sloper. And the left hole that your left foot has to be on it's this little chip right here and it's pretty good considering the size of it but the thing that makes it bad is this block on top of it blocks your feet from really getting in there good since the ground is like kind of wet now because it rained i have to constantly chalk up my shoes oh yes that feel pretty good honestly i cannot tell you guys how many times i have tried 
this last move on top i think it's at least in my head i think i want to say it's at least 200 attempts by now over the course of 15 sessions if not more and uh, every time i come here i feel like i could do it including today but uh it never pans out but <laughs> and the thing about trying to get this slap on top is every time i slap it it really hurts the left hand <sighs> alrighty alrighty just one more quick fire burn and then i'll rest <laughs> oh getting closer now in addition to those really three hard hand moves this boulder has one extremely hard high left foot move and the thing that makes it hard is you're like this and your body's extended down there but you got to bring your left foot up here without cutting and that makes it really difficult <clears throat> oh my god that's good and i don't want to make it sound like um this high left foot move is exceptionally hard but it is very exceptionally hard it will if you don't have like good hip flexibility and you don't have the great body tensioning and if you're not taller than five seven uh, i can't imagine you doing it from this position right here because previously i had to start with a lower hand hold like this but then with the left hand here is better for the final move but getting the high left foot up from the left hand here is harder than here but it's also gets you in a better position <clears throat> all right that's good though i've never gotten my high left foot up here with this new hand position up there and um that right there like really cramps up at my oh the ribs like me personally i really don't enjoy these really short one two three move boulders i've never liked that because it feels like i'm not climbing enough but the thing that makes this boulder good for me is um because it's such a low ball i can try every single move without having to climb up there and if i fall i could fall like a thousand times bah! and i'm safe every single time so that's a big reason why I chose to do this boulder. Also, another very important factor, if I just rotate the camera, <laughs> you see that it's right on the path. Therefore, it's really easy to get to. And it's literally like a three, four minute walk from the parking lot, which is over there. And lastly, the reason why I want to do this boulder, besides the point that um, it's safe, safe and good and close in proximity is because a lot of people think it's a dumb boulder and I find that absolutely hilarious. So I want to do the dumb boulder that people don't like. And if I could do it, I think it'd be really, really funny. That's a, that's a big contributing factor if I'm being honest here. Let me see if I could finally get the moves that I can't do. Ugh. Oh, right. Like it's just hard to go in with momentum, but if you just jump, like it's not too bad. Oh. So now that I'm finally a little bit more warmed up after doing all those tries, I feel like I am ready to start giving it some really, really good burns from the, well, I feel like I'm really start giving some really good tries because I don't think I could do send goals yet. Oh. But again, for me, when I climb outside, does or just climb in general, it does take me a while to warm up. Where is it? Ah. Okay, but but you guys see how after I, I'm finally warmed up, that attempt right there was much better than my first few attempts. And also, I forgot to mention when you're trying to find the little nugget of divot right here it's like a really blind just slap and throw so you also got to contend with just trying to find it and it all kind of feels the same especially when you're really hard locking off on the right arm very strenuous but i'm actually pretty happy because i um 
I, I think this is my best session in like five sessions since I last touched this. Yeah, so I feel like I'm actually making progress on it. Unlike my previous last five sessions, which just felt like I was just falling off and feeling extremely weak. But today I'm making good progress on it. Let me know that my training is good and adequate. And I'm, I am actually heavier than when I first started doing this boulder too, but I feel like much better on it. And my beta this time around is also better, but there's still moves I can't do on it yet, which is, which is totally fine. Man, it's annoying. It keeps drizzling every 10, 15 minutes. And it's not like this rock needs to be, and it's not like the rain is like affecting this rock too much, but it is affecting my shoes and my mood and my weather and tightness. -ness. Where is it? Oh. You see that? It's just so hard to find it. Also, I reverted to my old beta where I bump up to here first or here first and then I'll go here uh, but if you're strong enough you just go straight to it god and the thing that makes this boulder so freaking hard is that it's not that the moves itself is really hard or difficult it's the body positioning is really hard because this hump this little bump really pushes you out the entire time which is not good for it staying close to the boulder and being as um, efficient as possible. But this time I'm going to try to throw my left hand exceptionally far. Uh, and hopefully I hit it. <sighs> okay, that was it though. But I overthrew my left hand. I got it okay that's progress the boulder probably won't go down for me today but that's all right because i'm having a total ball today climbing it i was looking at the weather on the way here i was like oh it's raining maybe i shouldn't but i was like oh i should really do this uh boulder that i've been freaking trying to do for ten thousand years now instead of putting off because winter time is almost here so uh, my days are quite numbered and i now it's starting to feel like i could do it before the snow falls so Oh, hopefully so for this temp this time around what i'm gonna try to do is with my right hand i've been pulling straight i'm gonna try to pull backwards with my right hand this time so that i get shot into the wall and hopefully that gives me just enough to hayak to the top of it but if not then uh it's no different <sighs> Again, it's not like, it's not hard to just hold it. Uh, it's just hard to go from this position. But that did feel better though, the right hand pulling backwards. But again, the thing that makes that hard, the thing that makes the right hand pulling back hard is because you look at this and if you try to pull back, you just fall off immediately because there's no register to it. So it's like you got to take this and you got to crank down while pulling yourself into the wall, which is pretty hard, but I'm going to try that again in a bit. Oh, oh, dry fired off the right hand. Yeah, I think this go right here is going to be my last go of the day just because this is one of those boulder problems where I don't have it 100% dialed in, not even the individual moves. And the weather is starting to really suck and get dark and gloomy, and I don't like that stuff. So. <laughs> I'll probably have a shorter session on this one today. All right, let's go. Call it a day. <laughs> oh, keep going. Lose it. Oh my God. And truth be told, I would normally project this until I was gray in the face and my skin no longer existed, but I still have skin. But I've been doing this boulder so many times that I'm like, there's no point in me just 
falling over the same move over and over again. For me, I, on, I honestly think this is more of a strength check versus a technique thing because I've I beta the shit out this boulder so many times. And now everything just feels like I just need to get stronger. So I'm going to go... I'm gonna cut my session short today, save skin. I'm gonna go do a training session and then I'll come back and do this again. Again, I think that's a smarter decision versus just hitting this over and over again, ruining my skin. And I guess that's a little bit hard for me to do at times. Anyways, so, hope you guys liked the video in the slightest. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time, partner.